Hi, I'm Alex, and today we're going to be installing the uh, Coolance radiator. Um, this is the model HXCU1020V. So here is the radiator as it came from Coolance. I already unboxed it a few minutes ago. And as you can see, it's got the nice uh, cool uh, Coolance logo on the side. And it's got the in and an out nozzles, and it's got room for three 120 millimeter fans. I also have here a top mount shroud uh, that will fit on top of this computer, just like here, like that. And what I'm doing right now is I'm actually waiting for uh, the manufacturer of this custom case to build me a custom top so that the shroud would fit exactly on it. So while we're waiting, we're going to construct this together and then uh, put it on top and then uh, activate it. So. <clears throat> so the first thing we need to do is put the radiator mounting screws on top of the radiator. Now, since this radiator is going to be top mounted, the nozzles have to be facing down. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting it just like so. So the shroud will go on top with the fans in between. And <clears throat> this particular configuration is where the fans are going to be, and here's a Coolance fan, uh, is going to be on top of the radiator and then this shroud is going to hide the fan like so. And the reason why it goes on top of the radiator is so that the air that's underneath the radiator is going to be pushed through and out the top of the computer. And this is called a pull configuration because it basically pulls the air through the radiator. The other variation to this is if the, if the fan is on the other side or below the radiator like so, and it basically pushes the air through. Uh, but since I want to install this into my computer where it's all inside the machine, it's, it's, uh, this configuration calls for a pull configuration. Now these fans for the radiator are the Coolance model uh, 12025 HPK. These are very high performance fans, but also very quiet. Uh, these can push out 108 uh, cubic, cubic feet per, uh, per minute and a top speed of 2600 RPM. And the fan controllers are here. And uh, so let's, uh, let's put this together. So the first thing is to put these radiator mounting screws on the top of this unit. And I will screw them in much t more tightly with the plier here in a minute once I get them all in there. The purpose of these screw mounts is so that the fan will sit right like that and then the shroud will be on top and it's all be one nice nice unit. Okay, let me open up another package. There we go. third set. I'm having a little tough time there, so I'll use my yeah, I'll use my pliers too. Nice and easy with a pair of pliers. Except it'll take a little bit longer than I thought. That's all right. Go. 
I'm basically going to use the pliers to tighten all the connectors. They appear to be pretty tight already, but just to be safe. We don't want anything to be falling out while the machine is on. That would not be a good idea. Okay, now these fans, I'm going to try to align them so that they can easily be read. And there should be a picture, here we go, there's a little arrow that shows the flow of air. It looks like the flow of air is up, so we want to install it just like so. And need to put these power cables right through that second socket so that there we go second hole so I can mount it on the box on the back of the machine. So let me push this through. There we go. Just like that. Perfect. Now I'm going to open up another Assume that all of these are manufactured the same way, and it looks like they are. So I'm going to put these, this wiring harness right through that second slot there. And the reason for that is so that all these wires are going to be at the back of the computer away from sight. That way it's going to have a nice clean, uh, clean construction design. The second fan in place. Perfect. And then we'll open up the third. And check the construction. Yep, looks the same. Again, put these wiring harness through that little slot there. Got to be real careful with these wires because they're very thin, very small. You can easily cut them by accident. And then I'll line it up. Make sure it goes all the way down. Perfect. All right. So here are the three fans. I'm going to put the shroud on top. Like so. Perfect. All right. Now the only thing I'm missing at this point are the fan grills. Uh, I'm waiting for the fan grills to arrive. I already ordered them. So while I'm waiting, I'm simply going to screw these like so. And uh, I'll put the fan grills on later. In case you want to know what the fan grills look like, they look like this. So nice and black. They're aluminum and they're uh, painted metallic black to match the rest of the case. So these, imagine these three also on top of the shroud so it like looks nice and solid. And that's what it's going to look like. Let me just close off all of these screws. It shouldn't take too long. Now the cool thing about this shroud that I like is these indents that uh, Cool Ants make. And these indents make, they're made so that you can put the fan grills right on top of it and it will look really, really nice. So, let me... Oops. That's what you don't want to have happen. So, fortunately, I have a pair of needle nose pliers. You gotta be real careful not to puncture the radiator. There we go. more to go.
and that's it. So this is the uh, radiator combo unit where the radiator is on the bottom. The fans are above in a pull configuration. And this is the nice top case shroud that sits on top of the case. So once I get the custom top made, it will sit right on top like so. just like that. So uh, thanks for watching and I'm going to have another video coming up soon where I install another one fan radiator unit right in this spot right here. So uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you soon.